I hope you're well and having a really lovely day today and welcome to my second favourites video of 2016. Technically have a 100% success rate so far. I enjoyed filming my January favourites so I'm back with February favourites. February has been a long month it feels like. I don't know why because it's technically, well not technically, it is the shortest month of the year. I think because I'm just ready for spring to come now. I'm sick of the cold and the dark gloomy weather and it is starting to brighten up but I'm just ready for it to be spring and to be warm. Two big things did happen. The first one being I hit 14,000 subscribers and I'm pretty sure in January I was thanking you for 12,000 subscribers. I'm a bit mind blown, confused as to how I'm thanking you again for hitting another milestone but actually have hit two milestones in a month. It's ridiculous and I'm so grateful. Thank you so much for being a subscriber of my YouTube channel watching it. It means the world to me. Thank you very much. The second big thing that happened in February is I actually quit one of my jobs. I kind of have three jobs in a way if you count YouTube as a job which I kind of do because it takes up a lot of my time, energy and effort. I work at the O2 Arena as well on event days selling merchandise so if you're ever there you'll probably see me and then as well I was working on a cosmetics counter in my local high street so I would do two days a week when the counter manager was off. It was never a job that was going to be a career for me, it was just a job because I needed a second job to earn more money and then an amazing opportunity came up which I'm not allowed to tell you about at the moment but as soon as I can tell you about it I will do a new opportunity for me to work for a new thing that is launching that is in relation to Disney but it's not for Disney themselves so it's not working for Disney but it's about Disney obviously I'm a very big Disney fan so talking about Disney is something I love to do anyway so that is a big thing for me to have done in my life in February was to quit my job so uh yeah life's gonna be very different for me but I'm very excited to change things up a little bit so favorites wise I don't have too many things to show you this month because February is a short month I feel like I've had less time to try things out so starting with beauty favourites the first one I'm going to talk about is the Clarins Everlasting Foundation. Foundation wise I don't own too many and I had a big clear out of beauty products this month and threw away a lot of stuff and listed quite a lot on Depop actually so I'll pop my Depop account info in the description box for you. If I'm going out all day or going to work or I need my makeup to last this is what I've been using pretty much for about two three months now. So this is the bottle I really like it it's kind of just simple with a matte kind of gold lid natural to slightly more matte finish because it is is kind of made to long last. I really like it and I will definitely repurchase it. I definitely should have put this in the favourites a long time ago because I use it almost every day and have done for months. The Garnier Micellar Water, the first brand that I saw doing micellar water at a lower price point and I'm just obsessed with it. It's about four to five pounds but I buy it on offer when it's around three-ish pounds. I like to put this on a cotton wool pad and use it to take off my makeup before I do a proper cleanse. You could probably get away with using it as a morning cleanse on its own but I don't like to use it as my only cleanse in the evening because if I'm wearing a lot of makeup this won't properly clean my skin. I will use this and then use a cleansing balm or a hot cloth cleanser or something that's going to really clean my skin. It's really gentle, it's non-drying, it's just a really great product and it's cheap and I absolutely love it and I actually cannot go without it. When I realised how long I've been buying this for and I hadn't actually properly spoken about it, I knew I needed to put it in a favourites video. My last beauty favourite is from the skincare brand Meru Maya, which I'm probably saying wrong. Everything I've tried from them I really really like but this especially is one of my new favourites which is the Mud Marvels mask. It's a clay based mask and clay based masks are really good at detoxifying but this one's also very nourishing and it's not drying which I think some masks can be. All I do is pop on a kind of generous layer and put it on as I get in the bath and I just leave it to like sink into my skin and kind of draw out all the nasty stuff that's been sitting in there but I really like it. You should definitely check out this brand if you haven't heard of it. I know it's kind of a smaller brand that you may not have heard of but this is a very very good mask and I am a bit obsessed because because it saved my skin. My first random favourite is not new or even that random but it's something I've become a bit addicted to and it is Snapchat. Everyone has Snapchat nowadays and I'm just obsessed with it. I love that I can share kind of little bits of my day almost in like a really quick daily vlogging style and it's actually one of the easiest ways for me to speak to people is Snapchat because if one of you sends me a snap I can reply straight away so it's a really good way of communicating as well. Sometimes I just go overboard when you get the filters with the front facing camera and you're like throwing up the rainbow. I'm just a bit obsessed with it. 
it. My Snapchat's in the description box as always, so if you're not following me on there, please do. And then we can talk and send each other those, those filtered pictures because they're my favourites. <laughs> this month I actually went to go and see Billy Elliot with my friend Sam from the YouTube channel Sam for God and it was so good. I've been to see Billy Elliot twice before but we're talking about two, three years ago now so it's been a while and I'm so glad I went to see it again with Sam because it's actually closing on I think the 9th of April. The theatre is closing where Billy Elliot is but it is going on a UK tour. Go and try and see if you can see it before it ends because it's one of the best shows in London. I absolutely love it. Dancing is incredible. I'm not really one normally for dancey dancey musicals. I prefer kind of The Lion King and Wicked but Billy Elliot is just phenomenal because it's so moving and powerful and it has some of the best music Ever. Electricity is stunning, it made me cry. You've got Solidarity, which I think is one of the best songs and kind of numbers in a show because it's very contrasting. If you've seen it, you know what I mean. It's just an incredible show and if you haven't been, try and get tickets to see it before it goes or try and catch the UK tour. I've got two Disney related favourites to share with you. The first one is actually a candle. It is by the brand Maple and Whiskey who are on Etsy and they basically make Disney scented, Disney themed candles. So this one, for example, is Main Street Bakery. They've got them scented to different rides and foods and just so many cool Disney scented candles. I think there actually might be a couple of Harry Potter ones as well. I'm not 100%, but it was so up my street because I love candles and anything that reminds me of Disney is just so special. This one is Main Street Bakery, although I actually don't think Main Street Bakery really exists anymore because it could be Starbucks now if I'm, if I'm right, but it's so good. It's really, really sweet. It's really kind of cinnamony and sweet and kind of strong. I've only lit it a couple of times actually because it's so strong I don't feel like I need to light it that often but I absolutely love them. They're like a smaller family brand on Etsy who I think deserve much more of a following so I'll make sure I link them below for you. I definitely want to get the soaring one which smells like the soaring ride because that is one of the best rides ever. My last February favourite and probably my biggest favourite of the month is the new Disney film Zootropolis. Now I got a bit confused whether the film was called Zootopia or Zootropolis because I felt like I I'd heard both names being thrown around but apparently it's Zootopia in America and other places in the world and in Europe it is Zootropolis. The film actually comes out I think on the 25th of March but I was invited to an early screening of it and it is so good. Before I went to see it I'd only seen the clip that's been shown where um, the characters are in the car agency place and they're talking to the sloths. That's the only clip I'd seen and I thought it was funny but I wasn't like oh I must go and see that film on the day it comes out. But when I was asked if I wanted to go and see it early I was like yep of course I do. What a, what a privilege and it was incredible. There's so much adult humour in there as well as humour for children. It has a couple of twists and turns. I fell in love with both the main characters. It wasn't what I thought it was going to be. It was so much better and I really really enjoyed it. It kind of tackles different issues that we have in society as well today. Zootropolis is a city where animals are living as, as pretty much as we are now so there are some topics in there which are actually relevant to what we go through as humans in everyday life with prejudice and social norms, what's expected of you and racism and all things like that. You have to go and see this film when it comes out because it is so much better than I thought it was going to be. So that is the end of my February 2016 favourites. Who knows where we'll be in a month's time. Very excited to see what March has to hold. I may be going to Disneyland Paris in March, not 100% sure yet, but if it happens I will let you know on here as soon as it's sorted. But thank you so much for watching, let me know what your February favourite was in the comments below and I will see you very soon. Thank you for watching guys, bye!